Chad, start with one, two, three areas you got to get better offensively. Oh, uh, discipline, ball security, and execution in the red zone. Discipline, ball security, execution in the red zone. I mean, do you have the talent to be able yeah, to do that? Yeah, absolutely, there? absolutely. That was uh, that was disappointing, Sur disappointing and surprising. We've been very disciplined, the you know entire camp, and so that was that was very surprising. We've worked a tremendous amount of uh, red zone throughout fall camp, and you know you know had a lot of success doing it, and so that was surprising as well. And execute that, and then ball security. Man, I talk about ball security absolutely every single day, and and it's just little things, and we show ball security real every day, so the guys understand how they get going to be targeted and and defended in that regard. So, but those are all fixable things. Absolutely, and we will fix them. This is kind of a broad topic. Any specific things you're zeroing in on? Was it assignments, execution? Execution, like execution there, for example, uh, you know, when it's, a, when it's a run play and it's man coverage, the best block for a receiver is to run a guy off. Because when you and this man coverage and their eyes are on you and you stop and block, then they stop and peek and see what's going on and try to figure out why you blocking me. Little things like that. And that's fixable. And it was something that we, we've always done a phenomenal job of doing. So, like I said, that was very surprising. There were a lot of long distance situations on third down. Yeah. I assume you attribute some of that to a lack of success on first down. Absolutely. So Absolutely. Be better there. Absolutely. And that was, uh, Again, it could have, some of it being some drops. We I thought we had more drops than we uh this game, you know, we did a year before, and and some of it attributed to like some of the lack of discipline, you know, uh, not running guys off or whatnot. Because obviously going through the game, we want to stay away from those long down and distance situations. Now, with that being said, uh, even with it being in those long down and distance situations, we did not execute the way we wanted to. We executed in, in regards to picking up the blitz and pass protection with most of the uh, backs and offensive line. We just didn't execute. You know, being able to pitch and catch. He had success running to the boundary on the left side, particularly until Wyatt got it. Absolutely. Him. So that, that was kind of your bread and butter there, right? That was our bread and butter. And that, that was bread and butter. And that was a uh, game plan to, to go in there and uh, play, by, play behind him. He's done a great job throughout camp and really good chemistry over there uh, between those guys. And so it, it was. And it was something that uh, we kind of figured out would be a weakness in every with how they blitzed. They were primarily a field blitzing team, which they what they did a lot of uh, in the game. So we wanted to tackle where they were weak. And, and that turned out to be a good thing, obviously. Why I didn't finish the game. So that was a, that hurt. Coach, uh, Coach Brown was talking about that even though Jaheim got banged up, maybe yeah. he should have got him more touches, things like that. But there were some yeah. cues on some plays that were supposed to go to him. Yeah. Had anything like that happened? I hadn't seen anything like that happen in practice, or what kind of led to the, that confusion? Well, you know, I don't know. Uh, well, you know, we, we call it run. We call it run plays, and they got options to them. And you know, uh, Garrett missed some of the reads on those options. And you know, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens that he makes a big play. You know, uh, so you just hope, hope. You know, obviously you want to get more of those reads right than wrong, uh, but definitely got to get Jaheen the ball more. No question. But uh, like I said, we had some plays called for him, and you know we had some misreads on them. Just bad decisions, lack of execution, undisciplined. Several young linemen played uh, for you, so you mm -hmm. know from Johnny Williams to Nick Ray, I think. So give me your thoughts on what you saw out of them. <laughs> they got some late practice reps, like game reps. You know, it's uh, interesting. We've always tell those guys, you know, you always simulate practice reps like the game reps. You know, play with game like behavior. You never know when your opportunity is gonna come, right? And uh, both those guys' opportunity came at inopportune times for them. At least they had no idea that was going to happen. They were going, their number were going to be called, and it was a good experience for them. Obviously, you know, they, they held up somewhat. You know, not as a uh, they weren't a, they weren't great, but they held up. But uh, it was a good experience for them, and and I think it was good. It was a good mental deal for them for those guys that are now mature moving forward to understand that okay, man, I, I always got to have I always got to have myself ready to roll because I never know when my time's going to come. How do you scout a defense with a new coordinator? Yeah. With Albany, they have so many new transfers. 
How do you scout that defense? They're very similar. We scout that defense coordinator. He was there last year. So their system ain't going to change. They're going to recruit players that can play within their system. Uh, coach has been there. Head guy's been there for a while. Defense coordinator was there last year. So they're going to recruit guys that uh, that fits within their system. So we obviously we, we got one game to, to work off of. So we watched that game as well. Obviously, and then uh, watched the game last year for the uh, for the scheme. Very mm. you, you have to seek out the individual guys all just to know what they can do, or do, can you focus so just this is what they like to run, so it's what they're going to run? Well, with a scheme, where you start obviously look at the uh, like, say you look at uh, last year's uh, game to see uh, you know how teams played against them versus their scheme, and then we look at the LIU game to see personnel in terms of how those guys individually play that the guys they're going to see on Saturday. Use this game as a big eraser to what happened last week, but what do you want to see from your guys? Response, and, I, and they responded today. When I say response, uh, for is just be specific, do little things that they've been coached to do. We talked about it on Friday before they left and went to the hotel that they got to trust. They got to trust the coaching that what they've been told to do works, and they know it. They got to trust. Uh, they got to trust one another. We got great co connectivity. And they got to trust one another that the guy next to him going to do his job. And then they got to trust themselves. Ultimately, they all got the talent. Hey, we got a special group. You know, I was sat up here last week and I was very confident in what I was saying, and still, I still remain confident that we got a special football team, special talent, and they got to trust themselves. Like they're good enough, and that the little things that they do day in and day out will create those big plays that they want if they just could consistently do the little things. You talk about ball security. I mean, you had some strange things happen. Though. Center hit, hit hit the guy in motion. Uh, the other center snap. Uh, right. Uh, you know, timing things. Uh, pass to uh, Cole that he had in his hands and, and came loose. It wasn't the wasn't the fumble. Uh, is that concentration? Is that uh, absolutely, I mean, absolutely, hundred percent. We've been doing this, running this offense for two years now, and with the different motions and and whatnot is, is absolutely concentration. Concentration and focus. And I would tell the guys, it doesn't come natural, so you got to hone in a lot more than you would on any other, any regular basis. But uh, absolutely, it's concentration, and that's discipline deal as well. You know, it's timing and, you know, just consistency of asking for the football. And like I said, just discipline. Like those ball security deals are all, all of those, all of those balls on the ground, those balls in jeopardy are, all technique issues, uh, each one of those guys can come here and sit before you and tell you exactly what they should have done with it. So concentration and discipline. You guys do a lot of screens outside. I think camp you guys are pretty productive with that, but what was the difference Saturday for you? In what regard? Just, just didn't pop up you guys said probably no more. Yeah, well, we threw, we threw one, uh, we threw one to, uh, we threw one to Rodney Gallagher and that, that, that popped pretty good. Uh, really just kind of lost rhythm, to be honest with you. With, uh, we had the, uh, the miscues with the ball handling, uh, the fumble and the snap, and just kind of got behind the chains and really just kind of get, you know, kind of lost rhythm a little bit being where we want to be with the, the miscues, with the ball handling. But uh, we got to obviously do that more because those screens, are, it's, more, it's more than just screens for us. It's an opportunity to get the balls in the hands of guys that can make plays, and that's what we got to do a better job of moving forward. And we will this week. You got to get the, uh, the ball in the hands of guys that can make plays. And so for us, you know, you guys look at it like it's running the screens, but it's also just a way to find ways to get the ball in somebody's hand that can do something special with it. And so we'll do definitely we'll do more of that early. Thank you all.